Welcome to Friendly Skies Films. Today we're going to be going over how to pre-flight an airplane. Today we're going to be going through a three-part pre-flight checklist. Electrical, mechanical, and chemical. Which is great for you engineering types. Start by turning on the master switches and checking your fuel gauges. Followed by all of your lights. You should be able to hear the fuel pump running and someone else can help you check the lights. And lastly, have someone hit the stall warning tab for you. Now we're gonna go through the mechanical part of the process. Here, this is why we lowered the flaps. Make sure that the flap actuator is connected but mobile. Next, we need to check the bolts that connect the flap to the wing. One, two, and three. Next, we're going to check that the aileron is secured to the wing. This plane has four screws. Each plane may be different. You need to check that the screws are secure and that the pins are at 90 degree angles. For this plane, I have memorized four, five, four. Pull up on the airline to make sure that it is free and correct. When you pull on any surface on the aircraft, your yoke should come towards you. Turn around to the edge of your aircraft, make sure that your navigational light is secure. Make sure that your wingtip is secure by giving it a good shake. You won't hurt it, it's made to withstand turbulence. As you come around the leading edge of the aircraft, make sure that the front edge is indented as that could increase stalling speed. One trick that most pilots don't know is if you tag your aircraft like this, you can hear any loose rivets rattling that you might not ordinarily be able to see. As you arrive at the wing route, make sure that your door hinges are secured before moving along to your engine. Make sure that there's no bird's nest inside of any of your air inlets or your exhaust. Next, we're checking the propeller. Move it around so you can get to it. This is why we wanted to take the key out of the ignition. Check the edges of the prop to make sure that there are no significant dents. Check the screws on the spinner to make sure that they're all secure. Same thing on this wing. Except when you get to the stall warning tab. Make sure that when you pull up, you hear a click and that's free of debris. Directly behind the stall warning tab, you have a pitot tube on most aircraft. On this plane, it's actually a pitot knife. They'll all have two holes. One is a ram air hole and one is a static air hole. Check that both are free of debris. Once again, we're gonna check our wingtip and your navigational light. Pull up on the airline, your yoke should come towards you. Make sure that this is mobile but secure. Make sure your antenna is secure. The same goes for your epinage. Make sure that your horizontal stabilizer is free and that your trim tab moves in the correct direction. This is going to be different between a Piper and a Cessna. You want to make sure that the tail cone doesn't have any birds living in it. On some aircraft, the rudder may be hard to move, so you want to make sure and check it inside the cockpit. Make sure that your VOR antenna, navigation light, and rotating beacon are all secure. One more antenna and you're good to go. Now that we've 
done electrical and mechanical. We need to do chemical. Check in the gas tank and make sure that it agrees with what you saw in the cockpit. For our fuel check, we want to sump the lowest point in the fuel tank. Make sure that there's no water in it or debris. You can tell if there's water if there's bubbles on top of the gas. Don't dump out the fuel yet. We want to do this two more times. Once more at the lowest point in the engine. And finally under the second tank. And when you're all done, pour it back into the tank. Each airplane has a different engine compartment. This one opens with two latches on the side that you open up and throw over the top like this. When you first open up your engine compartment, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that there are no bird's nests in it and that there isn't oil spilled over your machinery. You're gonna to wanna to check your oil amount, check your spark plugs, and the wires connected to your magneto. To check your oil, unscrew the yellow cap until you can see your dipstick. For most small engines, you want between 6 and 8 quarts. When replacing the oil cap, make sure that it's not too tight. Just finger and height is fine. When checking the spark plugs, make sure that they're tightly in the cylinders. There should be twice as many as in a car, two per cylinder. Try to unscrew them. They shouldn't come out without a wrench. This is your right side magneto. Make sure that all the wires are securely attached including your hot wire that goes to the battery. To be thorough, check both sides of your engine block. This side will also have magnetos and spark plugs that need to be checked. This is the left side magneto. Make sure that the plug wires are secure and that the hot wire going to the battery is also secure. Spark plugs are the same on this side. One, two, three, four. Two more things on this side. You want to check the brake fluid and the fuel pump. This is your brake fluid reservoir. Tap it with your fingernail from the bottom all the way up to the fluid line and you'll be able to hear the change when you reach the fluid level. In a low wing aircraft, the fuel pump is especially important. Simply make sure that all of your wires are connected and secured. Before you hop in the plane, give everything one last once over to make sure that everything looks good. 